All right, guys, check it out. This is the 2022 Harley Davidson Pan America. And if you guys have ever wondered what this bike feels like to ride, uh, we're gonna find out today. So go ahead and cue the intro. I'm gonna try this, uh, this new transition. guys check it out so we're sitting here on the 2022 Harley Davidson Pan America special and while we're sitting on it we're gonna go ahead and show some cool features about it as you can see here you've got the uh, adjustable windshield we'll find out which which position for me feels better I'm about six foot so that should give you an idea of what height I'm at uh, so looking at the uh, handlebars here you've got a series of controls uh, on this side here, you have your selector switch for your menu on your uh, infotainment center. You've got your flash to pass and your high beams, your heated grips, your cruise control, of course the horn here and your blinkers. Your blinkers are all on one side. You got an adjustable clutch lever. And on the right side, uh, you're gonna have your front brake fluid reservoir there, your volume control for when you Bluetooth your, uh, your phone and your helmet to the infotainment center there. Your trash control controls are gonna be there as well and you have an adjustable brake lever now. Uh, this bike is equipped with Brembo brakes, dual, bis, dual disc brakes in the front, single in the back. You got your steering stabilizer here for when you're uh, in some rough conditions. And these little wires, you've got an electronically controlled front suspension and rear suspension. Uh, so that's really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the switch here, see what this bike's got to offer us. It looks like that bike, uh, somebody left their headlight on. Uh, anyways, so you've got your road mode here. And this is your mode selector. We've got sport, we've got off-road, and we've got rain mode here. So we're gonna leave it in road mode for now. We'll test out the roads, uh, or the different uh, modes here in a second. So as you can see, you got your fuel here, your odometer, your speedometer, and uh, your RPM gauge. You get a lot of information like off the bat displayed to you. So and you can even cycle through it. So range 113 miles till empty, trip A, trip B, all kinds of stuff. So temperature, uh, using your selector switch here, you got your navigation, your music, vehicle diagnostics. We got 32 in the front, 39 in the rear. If we run a diagnostics test, it'll, it'll tell us if there's any codes that it pulls up. Ooh, got a couple here. Hopefully they're not, oh, they don't even have an ID on there. We're good. All right. And then back to your home screen. So uh, this thing has got a cornucopia of, of information that displays to you while you're riding, which I think is really cool. You know, not a lot of bikes give you a whole lot of information, but this bike is letting you know what's going on at all times. Uh, you can even see your range and stuff here. You don't even have to scroll through this. So that's really cool. Um, with my bike, I've got to scroll through all that stuff just to find, you know, specific ones and it'll only display one at a time. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and fire it up and we're going to take it for a spin. Oh, I let the side stand down. There we go. The clutch feels really responsive. Put my visor down. And we're gonna put our blinkers. We're gonna go around the lander center and I'm gonna test out the different riding modes while we do that. The throttle feels really, really responsive. And the brakes are super responsive too. That's that's pretty cool. Now you would think that the seating position on this bike would be aggressive. I mean, it is aggressive. You feel like you're riding on top of something. 
but it is actually pretty comfortable. The seat's actually really comfortable. It's got a lot of cushion in it. Uh, dare I say, more comfortable than the Fat Bob seat, which is, in my, in my opinion, one of my favorite uh, stock seats that Harley has. This bike is just so flickable. It handles the curves so, so well. The suspension is impeccable. So we're in fourth gear. As you can see, this bike has got a super high rev range. You're gonna be able to rev out to about, I'd say 9,000 is what it looks like right there. About 9,000 is where the red starts. Let's look both ways. So road mode feels very average. The throttle is very, it's still really responsive. I mean, it's just, road mode I think is a generic cruise mode that you can ride around town on. You're not out here trying to hurt anybody's feelings. You're not off-road or anything of that nature. You're just, uh, you're out you're out cruising around, I think is what road mode feels like to me. I'm so used to my blinkers being on, uh, the right one being on the right side and the left one being on the left side. This is gonna take some used time to get used to. All right, now here's some bumps up here so we can kind of test out the suspension. Yeah, not too bad. I think for this bike having a tall suspension travel or a high suspension travel, it's gonna take up most of that, uh, most of that vibration and road bumps in the road. All right. And I'm not getting any wind really hitting me in the face either with the windshield being all the way down. We could try it in the upward position. Now I kind of feel like more is hitting me. Maybe that's just because of how, how tall I am. Let's put it back down. Well, actually, no. Let's put it back up. I'm actually really comfortable on this bike. More than I thought I'd be. We got some bumps here. Man, this would be a perfect police bike for the type of maneuvers that they do. I mean, I'm able to do similar maneuvers almost effortlessly. All right, we're gonna put it in the next riding mode, see how it goes. All right, what's that, Sport? Definitely a difference there. Uh, as soon as I pulled back on the throttle, I mean, it was ready to go. It also changes the suspension a lot. It puts it in a more aggressive riding style. Uh, I can feel a little bit more of the bumps. Than I would, per se, in regular riding mode, in road mode. It just makes the bike perform a little bit more aggressively. Let's see how we take this corner. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So sport mode is a major difference. I mean, this is really cool that you've got a bike that's got four different riding modes. So far we tried out two of them. And just between road mode and sport mode, you can feel the difference in the ride of the bike. All right, so we'll put it in off-road mode. Even though we're not going off-road, I don't know how, I don't know if that really does anything. Uh, the suspension feels softer. It feels a lot softer. Oh, this person's gonna go in front of me. Yeah, the suspension feels a lot softer. So you're, you're gonna have a, it's gonna go, it's, it's gonna feel a lot softer. You're gonna feel, uh, the suspension, you know, going up and down as you're riding. We're going to turn around up here. I'm going to put it in uh, rain mode. Yeah. So rain mode off the bat. Off the bat, it is already limiting the power pretty, uh, pretty significantly. 
God, this bike is so balanced. Easy to do U-turns. Which is legal in the state of Mississippi. I don't know if it is in your state. Yeah, that was full throttle there. It took me that long to to speed up. So this, this bike in rain mode, if you're in less than ideal riding conditions, this is definitely going to keep you safe. You're not going to pull too hard on the throttle and, and spin out from under you. And keep in mind, I've had trash control in this, this entire time. And even under full throttle, it has still kept the bike from spinning, which is really cool. We'll test it out without trash control and see if there's a difference. You have to hold the trash control button down. I don't know if it'll do it while we're riding. I think we have to be stopped. So let's find a place where we can pull over and turn the trash control off. Uh, you know what, in rain mode, it might not let you turn the trash control off. I didn't think about that. Let's put it in sport mode, let's turn trash control off. And let's see how much of a difference trash control actually makes. See, it was wanting to rev out. It wasn't, it wasn't hooking or grabbing quite like it should. And we'll try it again once we turn this corner. I didn't really think it was gonna make that big of a difference. See the bike, it took a little bit because the trash control was cutting on and preventing that back tire from spinning out. I didn't accelerate quite as hard as I would with it turned off. But that trash control was making sure that I was safe while I was doing so. So if you want to go out there and have some fun, uh, this bike is going to have some safety features to keep you safe while you're riding, which is really cool. All in all, I really like this bike. I'm, I'm very curious to see what um, parts and accessories are going to be available for this bike. I know Harley has got their own, you know, performance line with the Screaming Eagle muffler. And of course, they've got the cases and stuff like that. But I'm really curious to see um, what other companies are going to come out with for this bike. So I didn't really want to go on the highway on this ride because this bike it was designed for obviously multiple uses. I'm sure you could use this bike for the highway, but your main your main types of riding on this bike are either A, daily commuting, B, sport racing or riding, uh, aggressive riding like that, or uh, you're going to be doing some off-road riding. I didn't really want to showcase how it felt like on the highway. Uh, mainly because I don't feel like that's going to be the most common use for this bike. Uh, not saying that you can't do it, but I just don't think that that is going to be the most common use for this motorcycle. So uh, all in all, I'm very impressed with the motorcycle. Um, it's got plenty of power and the, uh, the safety enhancements with the trash control and everything really help out on this bike. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you turn trash control off and just full throttled it, this thing would probably power wheelie from first to third gear. It's got the power to do so, uh, and it's got the frame and the suspension set up to do so as well too. So, um, all in all, I, I have um, I have a lot of uh, a lot of expectations for this bike, and I feel like it's going to do great. So. Uh, if you guys want to check out this bike in person, make sure you come see myself or one of my teammates here. We'd be happy to show you uh, some of the features on this bike and let you sit on it and get a feel for it for yourself. Uh, but other than that, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks. See you next time.